Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, and happy Canada Day. And you're probably wondering what does Fago have to do with Canada Day? Absolutely nothing, but it is relevant to the type of day I was having today. I had spent it with my best friend, little Morris Gotro, little Mo we call him, but Morris Gotro, he goes by Maurice Gotro. I spoke about him before on, on, on my channel. But we are good, good friends. We've been friends since at least, I, I say it's like 83. He thinks it's like 84, 85. But I'm pretty sure I remember it was around 83. I will tell a story someday about how we met and, and everything. But yeah, what does Fago have to do with Canada Day? And like I say, absolutely nothing. Except that I was hanging out with my friend and... And we were, on, we, were, we were biking around, talking about all kinds of stuff and everything. You know, we were really close friends. And, and when I'm up by a certain area, in, like near the Moncton Coliseum, there's a corner store called, called Ayers, Ayer Avenue. And every time I'm in that area, I always have to go in for a sub, for a sub. And a fago, and I'll be I'll be eating and drinking this in a minute, but that's not the that's not the collection. And when we were in there, I always like I always have to get a, a a fago, and so on my way back here, I was just I, I was going to make a completely different video, but because of the festivities today and everything, and and I and to celebrate and. Yes, Fago is from Detroit, and why I collected the the Fago is because of the insane clown posse. When I when the first time that I went into to Ayers Avenue and that that corner store there, and I saw Fago on the shelf, the first thing it made me think of was the insane clown posse because if, if you're if you know anything about them, they like to take two liters of, of Fago and they even have sprays and everything and they'll shake them up and they they throw them they, they spray their fans with it so if you're in the first front three rows of the uh, of the of a uh, insane clown posse concert you're going to get sprayed with Fago so being a, a, a insane clown posse fan in, in just a second I'm going to go get my hatchet man and chain I'll be right back. I'm not far. I just want to come and get this here so I can show you. So I'm putting on my my hatchet man and I'm going to put on my insane clown posse hat. Backwards because I want you to see my face. There we go. Put that on straight. There we go. Now I'm set. Sorry about that. I had to go get that. I should have gotten that before, but yeah, I kind of doing this on the fly, you know, for your entertainment. Now, I managed to collect eleven bottles of Fago, and I'm going to go through them in order of my favorite, well, from my least favorite to my favorite. And I'm going to try to do this a little quickly, so no, to spare no more time. My least favorite, of course, would be the cola. And yeah, it, yep, the cola, because it's, it's normal, it's plain, and I've had, I've since had every single one, and I just want to kind of show you something. This is the one I'm drinking, and you see the price is $1.49, and when I started collecting them, when I started collecting them uh, a, a, about a year and a half ago, like I said, when I first walked into Air Avenue and saw them there, by the Moncton Coliseum, it was a dollar twenty nine. So going from one a dollar twenty nine to a dollar forty nine in, in 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 about a year or so. So all the all the balls I have collected and they're not ever going to be open. I'm going to keep them in. I have a I have a shelf specifically made for them. So yeah, the first one I'm going to talk about is uh, well, show just to show you is cola. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but because of the festivities and that. I, I felt like doing this. Then, the, then my second least favorite, weirdly enough, is, is cherry cola. 
I mean, I, I still love it. I mean, I'm a big fan of cherry. Um, cherries is probably in my in my favorite. It's in my my top two favorite uh, fruit flavors. So there's cherry fago. My third least favorite would be would be orange. And then and then there's red pop. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better than orange. So, and then the number five on this list is Moon Mist, and, and I love these little bottles. You know, they have Fago on the cap. Let you see that there. It says Fago on the cap. It will never be open. I'm going to try to keep this for at least a good, at least a good ten years, and before I sell them to the Good Mystical Morning. I know Rhett and Link will probably try them. And then my next one is grape. Mmm. I, I, I like grape. Th these are going to get better and better as they go along. Because, yeah, these are... You're going to see what my favorite flavor is. If you haven't guessed already. Now, just blue raspberry. Or, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's... It is blue. Uh, well, no, actually, raspberry blueberry. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. I, I really enjoy that. And then root beer. I'm a big fan of the root beer. And then, ooh, cotton candy. Mm mm. That, that's super super good. And then. The second, the second favorite one I have is cream soda. Yeah, clear. And then my absolute favorite is pineapple. Now I had seen a bottle of the pineapple watermelon, but it was it was it was the newer bottles of the forty nine cent brand. You see this one here says a dollar twenty nine. And yeah, like I say, whenever I'm in that area, I'm always going to get a, I'm always going to get a Fago. I always get a Fago and a sub because they have pretty good value subs. So that is going to conclude this episode. Again, I just want to say to everyone in Canada, happy Canada Day. And also, thank you all my viewers and, 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 and the people who subscribe to me. I have now 40 subscribers as you, as you should be as you should see. Yeah, I'm I'm actually very stoked about that. I gained my 40th one last night and that made me happy. I'm going by right now I'm going for every 10. So my goal was that when I hit 30, that made me happy and then I was reaching for 40 and when I hit 40, celebration. And yeah, is again, this is another part of the celebration. And then now yeah, I hit 40. Oh, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. So, again, everybody, please be safe. Take care. I'll see you on the flip side. Have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace.